game is underway. And, uh, Play is in the neutral zone and uh, a little scrambling in the beginning, but number 27 for Wenatchee. And uh, Pike Peak has a chance now, a chance on uh, a save uh, on a backhand shot. The goaltenders are going to be uh, Bronson Moore for the Wenatchee Wolves. And he just made his first save. And uh, now Wenatchee with the puck. All right, back at it here. Puck is in the Pikes Peak end, and uh, now they clear it out. And uh, Wenatchee has it. This is uh, <laughs> number 200, Allen, clearing it out to number five. Pike Peak Miners. And uh, so Wenatchee will be on the power play. And a puck is in the Pikes Peak end. Why not you had it for a moment? They still have it now. And uh, now the play resume, moves into the neutral zone, but Wenatchee takes over. There's uh, Richie uh, Stickle from Wenatchee in the corner. Uh, he's tied up. Uh, the players jam along the boards, trying to dig the puck out. Uh, no whistle. Uh, and uh, Stickle has the puck. Uh, along the half wall, he feeds it over to... Uh, Number 13, Jonathan Benovitz. Benovitz puts it behind the net. They try to center, but uh, can't do so. Uh, play again is back in uh, back at the point to uh, number 13, uh, Jonathan uh, Benovitz. And Benovitz loses the puck and now has it back. He feeds number 27, uh, William Con Will Connors. Connors behind his net. Connors tries to center it in front. Jack Newhouse. Newhouse. Send it deep. Uh, Wenatchee making changes. And uh, Puck is still in the Pikes Peak end. And they try to clear it out. They do so. And uh, neutral ice. Neutral zone. And uh, it is number three. Uh, Jacob Bennett for Wenatchee. He loses it. And uh, Pikes Peak has it. Uh, they get inside the Wenatchee end. Only to lose it. And this is uh, uh, Benovitz trying to get it out. Uh, puck is uh, turned over for a brief moment, but uh, Wenatchee was able to clear it out. Now number 15, that is Parker Mosco with the puck. And uh, he has the puck trying to maneuver inside the uh, Wenatchee end. Can't do so. Uh, stood up at the neutral zone, and uh, once again he picks it up again. And that was, uh, again, Mosco. For Peace, uh, Pikes Peak. There's a whistle in his hand from number seven, Calvin Boots. And now number three, uh, Jacob Bennett for Wenatchee has the puck. He sends it deep. And the Pikes Peak's number five, Travis Beaver, with the puck now. He tries to get it out. Uh, puck is kept in, but now they get it out. Pike's Peak in control. Pike's Peak in, uh, trying to move, make a nice move with number 15 for Pike's Peak, Parker and Moskell. And a shot on goal was stopped by Moore. All right, number 13, Benovitz for Benovitz for uh, Wenatchee. Cleared it out of his own. Puck is back in. And, uh, Number three is though is uh, uh, Jacob Bennett for Nazi. Him and uh, Benefit trying to get the puck out. They do so. Number 20 feeds number 23. That is for uh, uh, Pike Peak. Pike Peak wins the draw. Number seven charging toward the net, but a good play by Benefit to stop him. And uh, he has to feed the puck off. Puck is now at the point. Uh, a missed pass to number 19, Nolette. Uh, Nolette manages to get it to his teammates. And they get it to the point. A shot is deflected high over the net. And the let with the puck from the point. Once again, feeds number 11. That is Ethan Daniels. Daniels shoots the puck, but it doesn't go through. Number 15, that's Parker Moscow. Now back to Daniels. Daniels looking, looking to feed. Looking maybe to shoot. Now leaves it for number 27. And who feeds number 19. And uh, 
J.P. no less zone end. Wenatchee making changes. Wenatchee controlling in the Pikes Peak end. A shot that's blocked. That one uh, taken by number 13, Jonathan Benefits. Uh, Benefits playing a solid game. He's a big D man. That size. And, uh, he plugged well here in the early going. Benefits now meets meet Durante. Durante. Durante can't get the puck out. Once again, Benefits will lift the puck. And this time, getting the puck. This is going to be an icing call. And uh, Wenatchee puck will come back to it. So, um, faceoff is uh, just outside the uh, Pikes Peak uh, end. And Pikes Peak wins the draw. They try to get it back into Wenatchee's end. Can't do so. Play is in the neutral zone. Now shot deep into Wenatchee's end. Moore stops it behind the net. Leaves it for Benovitz. Benovitz uh, feeds it up to number seven, Richie Stickle. Stickle had it out for a brief moment. Benovitz has to clear it back out. And Stickle finishes the job. And now it's number 27. Uh, well, Puck is in the Wenatchee end. Uh, Pike Peak wins the draw. Puck is shot on net. Moore steers it to the corner. Pike Peak Daniels has it behind his net. Tries to feet. Uh, Nolet picks it up. And uh, he uh, loses it. Daniels had it for a brief moment, but they clear the puck out. We're in the final minute now of the first period. And uh, Nolet, Nolet has it. Captain of the team for Pikes Peak. He leaves it uh, behind net. Benefits clears it, but not out. And now, now they get it out. Number 26. Uh, that was Thomas Ign Ignatovich clearing it out for Wenatchee Walls, but the puck comes back. And uh, Keep it in the battle up in the corner here in the last few seconds of the first period. Uh, Pikes Peak trying to score, get a scoring opportunity. Now they get it to the point. Puck is shot and deflected. All right, play resumes and uh, number five for Pikes Peak. Oh, that was Travis Beaver who sends it deep into Wenatchee end. Wenatchee clears it back. Oh, Beaver has it, loses it. Now a chance for number two. That is Hunter Alden. Alden puts it on Puck on net. Puck is deflected into the corner. And uh, uh, Pikes Peak number seven. He skates it out. Again, met with resistance by Wenatchee at the blue line. And uh, Puck is shot in. Number 13 picks it up. Mm. And uh, Wenatchee, uh, that was uh, uh, Jonathan Benovitz who cleared it out. There's a pass uh, to Henry. Henry from Wenatchee almost had a scoring chance. Power play is over. Both teams at full strength. Puck is shot behind the net. Wenatchee tries to clear it out. Can't do so. Pikes Peak keeps it in. But now it comes out. And uh, number five, uh, that's Travis Beaver. Sent it back in. And 24 comes up with it. Uh, Trevor Paradise. In the corner it goes. Paradise still has it in front of the net. A shot. A save by Moore. That's the best scoring chance of this game. As Paradise. But, uh, uh, number three. Zaleski does clear it out for Pikes Peak. We're in the final two minutes here of the uh, first part of the We have a scoreless battle between the uh, Wichita Wolves and the Pike Peak Miners at the under 18 level. Play has resumed here in the second half of the second period. As both sides have switched, ice has been resurfaced. And uh, we're back at it. And we're still looking for our first goal. Each team has had two power play opportunities. Both teams have failed to score, of course. And, uh, once again, goaltender for the Wenatchee Wolves is behind the net now. And uh, Beaver tried to get to it. Now he got to it. Tries to clear it out. Benefits keeps it in for uh, the Wolves. Comes out now and uh, the Wolves uh, retreat in their own end. There's a pass to number 19. That is uh, Durant. 4.51 left in the second half of period number two. This is uh, Carl Comente calling the action for fast hockey. North American uh, Prospects Hockey League, under 18 level between Wenatchee and Pikes Peak. Oh. 
kickoff is won by Wenatchee. A shot is blocked in front. Hendry picks it back up. Hendry puts a puck back on net, but it goes wide. And once again, uh, the Wolves have the puck. Number 16 is uh, Givens. He feeds uh, Hayden again. Hayden sends it back to the point. Givens with the puck. Givens trying to uh, maneuver in front for a shot. Loses the puck. Now drops it off to uh, number... opportunity for the Wolves on the power play. And the Miners win the draw and send it down the ice. So back comes the Wolves. Here is a pass to number 27. A shot. Oh, just deflected by Sickle just wide. He got a great pass from number 27, Will Connor, but uh, deflected it just a bit wide of Swayman. Yeah. Benefit for on net by number two. That was Hunter Alden. Alden put it on the net, but Swayman saved it. Now here's another save off of Swayman, uh, by Swayman off of Alden. Alden had a couple of opportunities. In the second one, uh, Swayman made a nice skate save with his pads. Couldn't, uh, couldn't finish it off until third period is underway. Again, 25 seconds left on the power play for the Wolves. Puck is sent behind the net. Uh, as the team switched side, the Wolves now going from left to right. And uh, Benovich clears it out. And uh, the Miners clear it back in. And um, that's just about going to do it for the power play for the Wolves. Alden now with the puck. Trying to skate out. He does, though. But it's taken away by number 27. That's Brendan Doyle. Anders Johnson, puck is won by the Wolves, and Benovitz uh, for the Wolves clears it out. And so now, here comes the Miners on the power play. Uh, Benovitz once again slaps it. All right, back at it here. Uh, four on four hockey. Here comes uh, number 11. Uh, puck is center, but ben Benovitz gets a stick on it for the Wolves. Uh, puck is front. Uh, in the corner it goes. Bennett for the Wolves knocks it away. And uh, Hendry had it for the Wolves, and Benovitz will clear it. This is going to be a nut. Nope. No, you, they just wave it off for... Miners, Calvin Boots with the puck. Boots in the um, wolf zone, puts the puck on net. Moore makes a couple of saves. And, uh, in neutral zone, now they shoot it into the wolf's end. Moore uh, directing traffic uh, for the uh, wolves. And uh, Wolves trying to get it out, but number 24 comes up with it, Trevor Paradise. Paradise puts it on number 16, that's Hudson Kramer. Kramer, puck, uh, shot was deflected, and uh, the puck is behind the net. Here's Benovich for the Wolves. Off the boards to uh, Newhouse. Newhouse clears it out, but the uh, Miners get it back in. Here's a chance. Moving in on goal, a shot, and Moore makes a nice save. the best uh, opportunity here in the third period so far and it's come to the minors and uh, they came in on, on so a golden opportunity for the Wolves here uh, there's only less than nine minutes to go here in this in regulation time puck is shot out though and uh, the minors have done a, uh, a very good job on the penalty kill. And now number 14 for the Wolves. That is uh, Thomas Hendry. With the puck, but he loses the puck. And uh, the Wolves will try to regroup here in their own end. They had it for a second. Now it's sent back in their end. And Benefits will come up with it. Benefits will, oh, will try to beat Roth. 
fan on the pass. Now he gets it and leaves it for Roth behind his net. Roth comes out. Bean. That is uh, Braden Durant. He's sending it deep. And the Wolves uh, still trying to go hard on the four check. There's almost a uh, too many men on the ice penalty, but uh, the Wolves were able to get off the ice in time. And here's number 23. That is uh, Jack Newhouse for Wenatchee, but he's uh, stopped and uh, gets sent down. And, uh, all right, now the uh, Wolves with the puck. in the corner. And the Wolves trying to keep it in. Uh, they're doing a good job on the forecheck, keeping the uh, Miners bottled up. Now the puck is sent back in the Miners and in the uh, Wolves end. Number three, Benevitz. Here's out to number 14, that is Dalton Dosko. And now uh, a chance for Doyle, but uh, he stopped at the blue line. Looked like he had a break. Right face off. And uh, center ice, here we go. The final 40 seconds. 1 0 Guanachi. On a goal by Will Connors here with 40 seconds to play. It's been the only goal of the game here. And uh, we are nearing the completion of this one now. Let's see if. The Miners can get that goal back and send this game into overtime like the, like we thought it was going to go. Puck is bottled up in the uh, Miners' end, and so they can't get a... Well, that comes, and...